Hello everyone, I'm Me Phone 4 and I'm Son of Beast and this is NBA 2K23 on 2K Sports. Hello everyone and welcome to another NBA on 2K Sports. I am Son of Beast and I am Me Phone. And as is this being said, it has been a fantastic season as we have seen many players seeing the one of a kind of the regular season that we have always been enjoying by the team. But now, this all comes down to the final game of the regular season as we got the Nets and the Minnesota Timberwolves. This has been an excellent game since we noticed we have did start it off here since last year in 2022. But as we're being noticing, the first game it was the Knicks and the Grizzlies. How does it really turn out? Well, I gotta say, this was an excellent part of the game. But I have to tell you this one, this was all that did turn out. Just one of a couple of players who just really turned out to be a very hard on the look. Well, maybe it might be a very hard one to try to figure it out or not. But I'm not saying that everybody's gonna like keep on doing this. There may not be anybody that might be going for it again. So, it might be tough though to keep an eye on the pride. But however, I just really didn't feel like anybody was coming over. So, who could figure it out one now? Well, <laughs> I got no other questions to go with the consideration. Well, as you may already know, this is where it comes down to this for the final game of the regular season. And stay tuned, we got the post game of the post-show, post-season I met, as we got the play-in tournaments coming your way in there, as we got the Miami Heat playing against the Atlanta Hawks, and then, in the Western Conference side is the, is the Minnesota Timberwolves and the, and the Mavericks, you might be starting to figure it out, they try to fight back in there, hmm, I'm not sure how well they're gonna do, but they're going to have to find out if they're going to try to keep an eye on the run. Well, let's see how this turns out. Because if they do, well, they might be figuring things over and over again. The good news is that Stephen Curry is back on the court. And their team is not giving up yet. They're not out of the regular season. They want to keep the pressure alive. Of course they do. How well are they going to do? I'm not sure if they will take another one. I'm not even positive if they're going to try to win the whole thing. It might be very tough for us to try to go from higher range to low range. Well, let's see what they go with. And your last starting matchups of the lineups. We have, of course, without Kyrie Irving, that Spencer Dinwiddie is back with the Brooklyn Nets. And he's also got with Nicholas Claxton right along with the other team. Of course they do. That's the only two teams that they always go for. Then they also got McCall Bridges, Cameron Johnson, and Dorian Finney Smith. These are the two players that definitely got it from trading from the Phoenix Suns from Kevin Durant and the other player of Seth Curry. They're not really considering things options because this was the only team that they were ever trying to keep over. Only Josh Okoji had just left with their team. And just try to keep them over the range to try to lift the back from the other side of the angle. And with that one, only one from the Mavericks had just left. And now with the team that they're looking for. On the other side of the Minnesota Timberwolves, we got Mike Conley, Anthony Edwards, Jaden McDaniels, Kyle Anderson, and Rudy Gobert. No D'Angelo Russell here for tonight with the team because he's now with the Lakers with LeBron James. And on the other way, definitely did turn out to be too hard to look for Carl Anthony Towns. We're not sure if he will ever play with the team next season. They'll have to try to figure it out if they can do it again. Alright, I guess we'll have to see what they can do now to get this thing over with. So, I'll have to give up on the key. And now let's send you down to Target Center as OJ and Bam are at the game to start with the presentation. Guys, 
All yours. Let's go. Hi, everyone. It is about that time. Hello, everyone. OJ here, along with Van, and this is NBA on 2K Sports. With me and Van, we have is David Oldbridge on the sideline for tonight's game. Nets and Wolves. Hey, Dave. Take it away. Thanks very much. Now, Commissioner Adam Silver is continuing to push for the creation of an in-season tournament. He says the notion is to steal a page from European soccer. It's not the Larry O'Brien trophy, but something secondary that teams care about. Something you'd see players go into that extra gear for. Kevin, back to you. Thank you so much, Sir David. Appreciation is always key succeeded. With some couple players here in the starting lineups, there's something else to talk about them that Spencer Dinwiddie has played with the Dallas Mavericks. But now, it's time is come back to Brooklyn Nets. I know that Spencer Dinwiddie has really received him off. He's one of the greatest players here ever played here by the teams. He never really wanted to get quite close to each other with each of the players. Since 2019 to 20, and then back again, 22 to 23. Let's see how well they do without Irving. Ball tip and Rudy Gobert wins the tip off. With the starting of the lineup, we're all fueled up and we're ready to go. Conley is guarded by Spencer Dinwiddie. And it's Cameron Johnson on Jack McDaniels. Anderson is on the other player where we are here to take the Dorian Finney Smith. Gobert right on right on uh, Nicholas Clockskin. And finally, Miles Bridges on Ebony Edwards. Now here's the thing. I see that Miles Bridges has definitely played here with the Phoenix Suns. There's sometimes, however, they can try to lay it up to a painful run without him. Now that Kevin Durant is no longer with us, he's now with a different team. First foul called by Rudy Gobert. That will be a first team foul, first personal foul. And right now, Miles Bridges is at the free throw line shooting two. Now, we haven't seen anybody making the two points in this game. As for him, for himself tonight, he is about to take his own to start from his career in, with the Brooklyn squad. First free throw falls in. You know that Miles Bridges was able to make his career a lot of step encouragement has been played out with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. His team was the great, and they are always moving on their run. I know he's true, but you can't let a man get away with him with the only player that he was always done so many times. He was definitely able to talk to his coach and made a, a great contact out of him. Hopefully their team can definitely bring him on for the next season of 23-24 for Miles. The call, I should say. Edwards with the wing. He dished back to Gobert. Claxton on him. Shoots him up. It's rebounded by Nicholas Claxton. He's got his first rebound here for tonight. And right now on the other hand is Benny Smith. Smith in the wing. The center. Rebounded by Rudy Gobert. McDaniels dips it over to Mike Conley. Game is even up. Yes, McDaniels is on the wing. Last to Gobert. Monday win against Atlanta. A lot of field goal percentage here, and they've got a lot of stuff to take them over with the bracket the score. They are on the world. Yeah, I know. Because there's some players like like the taller player of Rudy Gobert, they definitely rejected up here, facing up here by Spencer Capella. I don't know what to say about him, but he's like already on a good team to play with the squad. Without Carl Anthony Towns, they were definitely sure enough if it could definitely stay here with the team before his transfer has been contracted. Rudy Gobert at the free throw line shooting two after the foul was whistled on Brooklyn. First free throw is good for Rudy Gobert. And he's the best defenseman of the year. And he's the best uh, guard, the center guard, that definitely had playing him out with the team. Now, one thing I don't have in common 
is how hard has he trained basketball? Well, his life has already been struggling, but all with that one was keeping him in the stride of the game. Now, this wasn't the only ever game that Rudy Gobert has ever faced, but his might be the next one to keep your eyes on the field. Well, there is, honestly. Oh, wow. Nicholas Claxton already on the alley -oop. As I just said here, like he said earlier, the Rudy Gobert has a lot of uh, facing of his, uh, by his own team. After playing with the Utah Jazz, they really got something else to tell. How could they get rid of him? He was the best man here in the Jazz. Not really to tell when he's over, but for a moment at least, it just really has to keep things going for him to play with the team. Very hard to contract. Wow, Blackstone slam dunks it down, and they extend by three. That pass was very, very, very fast. Not really telling things out ever. They didn't have enough to go through. Edwards back over to McDaniels. With the drive, solid D, and it's rebounded by Claxton. Claxton's got his second rebound of the night. Johnson in the corner. This over to Dinwiddie. Only 45% each year for the field goals and, and eight turnovers after the win by the other team. Now, I know what you're thinking here. They definitely did win here in a real game in overtime. But likely, however, they definitely have nothing else to say without Irving and Kevin Durant. Along with the other players of Carl Anthony Towns and, and however, the uh, player that was definitely able to make him, uh, make him work for it with the run of the Angelo Russell. Free for McDaniels. Good on the triple range outside. Ties the game. McDaniels got his first bucket. Here is Claxton. Got a terrific drive put for Claxton. And assistant goes up to Dinwiddie. Timeout first call by Minnesota with only 2.32 left to go. They need to have a talk it over. Chris French is the head coach here for the Minnesota Wolves. As he was talking to his team, they have nothing to compare with this run. And if he has spoken to his team, you've got to fight hard. There's nothing else that you're going to try to stop the player if they're in the top. Just go up to it now. Don't get loose. Don't get comfortable. That's why we're here to do it again. Do the best as you can. Yes, we definitely did know this. A lot of players can get a little hydration out of it. And a lot of players definitely uh, have to rehydrate it again. Or we're swelling the game. They have a little hard time to try to face the players who have a difficult strength to try to keep them up. And a lot of injury players, hard to deny to get right back in the game. It may be too hard though, but luckily, there might be some players that can still survive. New substitution checked in for Brooklyn and Minnesota. Couple players have checked out, five players checked out, five players checked in. As O'Neal, Ben Simmons, Thomas, and Curry are checked in. Also new changes here for the Wolves, as Reed is, is in the center. Then it's Noel, Anthony Edwards moving in, Tyreen Prince, and definitely Austin Rivers. Reed for Edwards. Triple range outside of the arc, and he's got his first bucket for three. Tyree Prince has nine points this game after he put a win against the Atlanta. They're tough now, but trying to stay focused without the team here with the, with the Nets. O'Neal on Edwards, driving in front. Simmons trying to reach up over Reed. First rebound, can't hit. Thomas over to O'Neal. Edwards on him now. Shot clock down to six. Needs the final look. O'Neal, two. Rebounded. Another miss by Brooklyn. Reed's got his first rebound. Now we have under 80 seconds to play in the first period, a 9-8 score. Reed outside, back over to Brooks. Bounce pass to Reed. Dish off to Rivers. Over again to Curry. Good! Two-pointer is up and in. Rivers with 
a step back. Nice shot. That's really what you want to go for. An uh, excellent mobile one drive by Austin Rivers from Minnesota. Simmons up. That's Lindy. But couldn't put it back. As Ben Simmons got his first bucket. He's really got quiet to try to rebound this game. Without playing the Sixers, Seth Curry really wants to help him out and try to keep him up. Now, there's nothing else to say about Seth Curry and the other player of Ben Simmons. They definitely did work very hard off the court. Just for the start of a season. And then, after that, Seth Curry has definitely gotten traded off to a different team. I don't know what to say, but it didn't really help it at all. Just tell me what it is. It's very uh, difficult to try to move to a team that they never liked. After a book score, here's Reed. 20 seconds left, Edwards back in front. Decided to go with a different look. Rivers for three. Prince has it back. Reed will try to pull it back. Ball loose. Reed. Edwards with the two, makes the shot! What a play for Edwards! Got a second bucket! Up and a lead by three! And we'll come back after this break. Second quarter coming up next. We're back now in the second quarter. 15 to 12. An excellent buzz beater with a shot of two for Anthony Edwards. He's got four, ten, five, I should say. But he was very well to bring his game into his epic run. I, I really like that buzz beater in this one. He was really uh, performing. He was like ready to go. There was nobody else. He decided to do just make a shot. Just without wasting time. He really has it all the pressure. What a play for Edwards. Dinwiddie on Conley. With the drive, it's rebounded by McDaniels. McDaniels got his first rebound here in the game. Right now, they have a three-point lead. Rivers. Screen here on Jack Anderson. Great feed off. That's Rivers with the assist. And Anderson has a bucket down. When Anderson really has a good click and play, he's got a good luck. Good contacting shots. There's something else that he's going to do. He might try to block it, or he might try to reject it. What a play. As Rudy Gobert deflects the alley oop pass, here's Rivers. Up to Rudy Gobert. Gobert against Coxie. Fades back to Rivers, moves it over to McDaniels. McDaniels over Harris. Rebound by Anderson. Rebound it back. Anderson's got a second bucket. After the rebound, he put it back in there with the lead two. He showed up in time. Great stop. Harris on the Dennis. 4.42 left to go in the second period. With a two. And Tobert with the rebound. He has number three. And went badly with a bad court violation. He went right around it and didn't see that go. That's a mistake here on Minnesota. You can't try to make the pass up here and behind it from the back court violation. Because if you do, then you're not going to get right into this one. You got to fix it on your own. The foul is called on Mike Conley, his first personal, their first team foul on Minnesota. Didn't win at the free throw line shooting two. And there might be some showing another one to give it a good stop at it. If they could try to open the word, they could try to go back down by two. After Mike Conley playing with the Jazz, he now wants to get back into it and rejoin with Rudy Gobert, one of the famous guys who has definitely played here before last season. Yep, totally true. Can never go wrong with that one. Player like him, he really does it all. After the free throw is made, here's Johnson, and he will check in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Second free throw for Dinwiddie's good. Brooklyn trail by five. 
Conley pass to Anderson. He gets back to Rivers. With the elbow, in and out, as he tried to pick a rebound, and it's stolen away. Bridges. And the fast break. Simmons! Wow! Got that dunk down. Really had it all what he's going for. Really has to step deep on there. Rivers, face back, and not the time to take the drive out of it. He's on a second bucket. Rivers in comfortable mood. Quite around Johnson, and he really had that one a perfect layup. That was your mobile one drive for Austin Rivers. Getting ready on Bridges. Rivers with it now. Trying to cover the man on defense. Bridges. Make a cross move. With the two. Go bear with the block. That's a first block here in the game for Minnesota. Nice, easy, comfortable look. That go bear move. Bear that claw down. Timeout call by Brooklyn. 3.37 to go in the first half of the period. What a tremendous block. A start, a lookout, and in range. Totally, they're going to need that one here. They're trying to block that shot before they get shots in there. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. This is your local Kia dealers today. American Express or Ameritrade. Don't live life without it. And by Mountain Dew. Do the do. If you're tuning with us here for the postseason, stay tuned as we have a couple of each teams that will be in the play-in tournaments to get ready for a battle for the seventh seed and battle for the eighth seed in the play-in tournament brackets. Playoffs start after the regular season is over with just the last one, which we are down to the wire, and we will be seeing which team can step in to the playoff brackets on the board. Against the number two seed, and number one seeds in the both conference teams. Now they're really sure enough to get over games right aboard. They're really something else that can't be done. They have to need to keep their shoot shots on the board. And they need to keep their eyes on the man look up. Look open, look steady. I love that block here by Rudy Gobert. He's well at it. Gobert missing their shot. Simmons on the fast break, pass to Harris. Harris against Rivers. In the corner, finds Bridges. Over Conley. That's rebounded off the target. Conley's got his first rebound, and now takes it back the other way. Decides to give it to Anderson for the screen. With the look, Anderson, two-hand dunk down. And Conley with the assist. He's got his six points in the bucket score. That Conley was giving up a good dish off to Anderson. Ball play move. Rebounded by Simmons. Trying to put it back, but it's no good for Simmons. Simmons is very not really well precisely enough to try to go with the rebound and look. He's very tough. He's got to try to find somebody else. Gives it to McDaniels. With the two, driving in front, and McDaniels has five on the board. Only 2.10 to go here in the first half of the period. There's Otter now, and Johnson on Anderson. Two minutes left to play in the first half. Bridges, He's trying to go over Rivers, and got a good rebound here by Gobert to bounce past to McDaniels. As right now, he's still going strong. Trying to keep it up, right in the range. Anderson, back to McDaniels. Trying to make a new move. Shot clock to six. Conley with the two. Good shot here! Finally got the bucket down! And McDaniels with the assist. McDaniel is going with the first assist here for tonight. Now looking comfortable to find it to Conley. Now I see the point. I know that was very tough. A great feed. 
McDaniels clean rebound and he's back the other way. Conley outside. Gets it to Gobert. Gobert back to Rivers. Trying to go with a different setup. Up and overhead pass. Almost tipped. Rivers for three. And it's folded by Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got his second rebound here for tonight. Now Johnston is up, over, and goes in and out. McDaniels back here away to Anderson. Gives it to Gobert. Up and around Dinwiddie. Back to another bucket for Gobert. He's got five. Yes, sir. They're bringing up here for a bear to try to bring it, bring it down. Anderson on Johnson, 20 seconds to go in the first half of the period. Harris over to Bridges, five on the shot clock. Bridges around Rivers, almost went loose. Simmons outside. Harris with it now. Johnson for the buzz beater, and that goes off the turn. That is the first pass. 29 to 16 is your score. We'll get the second half when we come back after the break. 16. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, it's been a great day and night as we got the first half recap on the board. Wolves and Nets. Wolves are still on the deck. There are lots of shots that may have made themselves a look clean. Mefo. Let's have your word on Denver Wolves. How's the pressure going on with you? Well, the pressure's really going with the big out there. There's something to tell. I got a lot of great plays to go with that Rudy Gobert's got too. They're going to be fine on ahead if we can try to keep up the run. And let's have your take on the Nets. What is their key to try to keep them over their range? Well, their range may have to be another way to get over it. I know they're fighting big, but don't be honest with you. They're very on a tough stride, and that might be one way or another. You need to keep the focus up there to get a better strength. It's all hard they need to get. And that's going to do it. With the third quarter in action, let's bring you back down to OJ and Fan. See you all later in the postgame show. Adios, amigos. at Target Center as we got the third quarter coming up now. 29 to 16 score and we're talking about the better play of the man himself. That's him, Anthony Edwards. He has been drafted here since NBA since 2019 and it was the last one that was able to be playing here with the Wolves here for the start of his career. The moment that the rookie was bringing out to a, a tough one to be in the pro league. Now, they're tough plays. How does it really keep it down here from happening up there, man? Well, Anthony Edwards was able to train with, with the college team. He was able to try to keep their focus on the rhythm. He really could definitely do it down. Really a tough guy. Never sneaks. Maybe another way to get over it, but I hope that it will be enough to find Edwards to go with the uh, buckets on his arm. Two for Edwards. It's rebounded by Claxton. That's number three for Claxton. All loose. Bridges way out to Claxton. Almost went tip loose. Penny Smith for three. And no three-pointer connection here. Edwards got his first rebound of the game. Try to go with the drive. Up and it goes in the bucket range. That's nine for Edwards. That's a top one. With a right roll-up wraparound, that has to be a layup to be on a clean leg. A tremendous mobile one drive for Anthony Edwards. He's got nine. Well done. Pretty Smith outside. Covered up by Anderson. Dinwiddie on Conley. Dinwiddie trying to find an uh, open range with the two. Dinwiddie unable to make the shot. And Conley was very on the top man on the range. He's trying to hold on to him. He's very hard. The strength, the struggle, it 
may not be happening until he's got the perfect right to give. Gobert back to Cole. Conley. The two. Good. Two players in the range. And Gobert with the assist. Gobert's got a second assist. And Conley has got four rebounds, four points in the game. Bridges on the attack. Foul on Gobert. That's his second four skill on number team foul. Keeps on Minnesota. Something about that four, four to go. That's right now, Gobert is trying to watch out with the block. He almost would have had that one. But now, his team was given up to another McCall Bridges shot on the free throw line. Yeah, it's simply end of story. Not enough to get clear enough for this one. McCall Bridges is going to be on the site. He has to find another way to try to slow it down. And of course, free throw sets in for McCall Bridges. Now the new changeup is coming in for the Nets. Three players, Dinwiddie, Johnson, and Vinny Smith are checked out. As O'Neal, Thomas, and Simmons are checked in. Three players checked out. The World Prince and Reed comes in for Gobert, Conley, and McDaniels. And a second free throw will set in for Bridges. Here's Noel. Hasn't scored yet for the first half to the second half of the period. But now he gives it off to Anderson. Gives it to Reed. Over around Claxton. And great shot here. Reed on this guy has his first bucket. And he's got two. What a way to play it that Reed was bringing bring it out again. That might be in our way. To try to help them increase their strengths. O'Neal inside the two. Off the footer it goes. O'Neal's got a bucket now. They're coming back down here very quickly. And they're going to need to try to figure out another way to get over. Anderson. Ball almost went loose, but Prince recovers it. Edwards outside. Gives it to the well. Try to go with the bigger move. Edwards for the three quarter. Fighting for the rebound. Reed. Layup scoops it. And Reed's a second bucket. A lot of fighting rebounds in between by the Nets and the Wolves. It was too hard to make a count to go by the in between. There's certain up they could do one year. I bet there would. O'Neal on Anderson. Bridges outside by Prince. Up to Thomas. Back to O'Neal. Free to shoot. You gotta make a shot count. And we chuck it by Anderson! That goes with the shot clock violation. It turns it over to Minnesota. The hustle, the look. That was Anderson. Hey, Anderson really got a piece of it. What a play. And Reed was able to try to make a block. <laughs> oh my. I just really can't believe it. That's a great play. Black standing bridges are checked out as Simmons and Harris are checked in. Minnesota are also making new changes as right now Anthony Edwards is moved over to the position and Austin Rivers is checked in. Pass to Noah. Easy to the Rivers. Minnesota moving the ball around quickly right to left. Left to right. Tough ones cut. Edwards for three. Good! Triple range in the front. And Edwards got 12 points. The big extension. Wolfpack, a rising speed. O'Neill on Fritz. Two minutes, Two minutes to go. Curry on the well. Back to Thomas. Rivers on him. Screen on Simmons with the two. And take it back by Reed. Reed's got his third rebound of the night. And the well with the ball. Edwards outside. Back to Rivers. Moves in to Prince. Double man, back to Edwards. Two pointer up, shot, good range, and that's going back the other way. Edwards got 14 points, under 90 seconds to play, 42 to 22. The next timeout has been called by Minnesota. Sorry, Brooklyn. With a minute and 24 to go, 42 to 22. They're going big out there to get near the playoffs to get ready for the postseason. They really gonna definitely need to keep practicing.
sync with the shots, and also with the cutting plays. The play on this uh, drive is very easy to try to make a setup score by head coach and assistants, along with the medical teams. Watch the NBA on the uh, on your streaming devices on the TV. We got we got some couple more teams to play here by every month. So if you want to catch up right now, go to your uh, cable and go to NBA.com and check out your schedules and see who they are playing to have a chance to get right into the game for a race to the playoffs. And same thing as Golden Swift with this game also. You can also check him out here on, on his channel. Keep your eyes tuned if you would like to check out how they have. Now the new changeup is bringing back in for the Brooklyn and the Soda Blues. Here's Thomas with a two elbow. Holding by Reed. Reed with four rebounds and their scoring was blasted about 2.23 per minute. Read back to it. Over to Noel. Gives it over to Rivers. Bounce past the Prince. Shoots over Harris. Harris with a nice D. Harris really hasn't played that much here with the team. Really well done. Thomas scoops a drive, and this one is going back down again. Not going to be extension run, but they really have to keep it up with the work they do. Here's Rivers, only scored four points in the first half of the game. Edwards back to it now, over to Newell. You can try to find a motion out there. Over to Edwards. Back over to Prince. Edwards inside over Harris. Good feed. Edwards is going on a big points tonight. 16 points, assisted by Prince. Short on the move. Green showed up with no foul ball. That's really easy. Really well to try to like face it out a little bit better there, Reed. 15 seconds to play. Noel on the corner. Bounce pass. Loose the ball. Prince back to Noel. Rivers. Elbow shots up. Rebound it. And that ends the third quarter. 44 to 24 is your score. They are just catching big here. The Brooklyn Nets might be coming back in here in the fourth quarter. Might need to show them off. Keep playing. Keep going. Fourth quarter is coming up after the break. And a moment now to release your new of uh, the State Farmer System again. There's some plays out there. I can barely see that there is uh, somebody else going out right around it. And the Edwards by himself, he with a two, back feet, a fun speeder, and a first. We hope you enjoy playing here with the with the part of three quarters, but now we got the last quarter left to play for our regular season. And then, then we'll be all over until we step in the postseason. Race towards the playoffs is a lucky chain, but it might be a tough one that could be coming in for the new teams to get in there since they haven't made the playoffs the longest year in the run or haven't made it to the playoffs that far. There might be another way to go right for their run. Indeed they do, because if there's a player that they have gotten some a lot of rebounds, some shots, I mean, definitely talk about that one here, it might be another way to go from here. Now there is a choice that Conley was able to make a shot, but I'm worried for that one. It was almost going to be a jump ball to try to reject that shot. Spencer Dinwiddie has called a foul on Brooklyn, and Conley's at the free throw line, getting ready to take his own time at the line for two. Thank <laughs> you. 
of course, free throw set in for Conley. Conley hasn't really played here with the Timberwolves, hasn't started playing with his career. This really needs to be on his, on his good average, because after D'Angelo Russell was able to leave a team, he was never able to return. And the same thing that really has going with, like, Carl Anthony Towns, he's out here and he's on the sideline. They're definitely not sure what they're going to do. Are they going to replace him, Carl Anthony, to the Jazz? I don't think so, because it might be another way they're going to find another one and go back to it. Jimmy Smith, back over to Johnson. Page shoots the three. Another miss by Brooklyn and Anthony Edwards got his second rebound. Now back to McDaniels. Gobert, no three. Conley with the ball. Decided to help him out. With the motion. Gives to McDaniels. Right from elbow. And that shot is good for McDaniels. And Conley gets another one assist. He's going by the quarters. It's definitely in and out. Now the time on call by Brooklyn. 4.41 to go in the fourth quarter. Believing is keying. I like that when they play on a better squad for the teams. As of right now, we have the ultimate range here in between the battle of the neck here. As we may have nothing else to go with the team, but it was very difficult to try to answer back. As it may have been, that being said, there may be a tougher one that can try to break, break it through. Now, we're not sure how well they're going to do. Uh, as Lisi always make the, uh, make the step key, the ultimate way is to make a defense. It's hard to do think. The battle in between right now, the Bulls, Wizards, and Indiana are where they are battling for the 10th seed to get into play in tournaments. And along the other hand, that the Pelicans and OKC Thunders, along with the Jazz, are also battling in two in the, in the play-in tournaments. Along with the Lakers, they are tied up already, but not sure what will they do next. Well, tough ones to be honored. If there is another way that the player could try to help the team and make the win, and the other team make a loss, well, because of that, there may not be enough to get into it. And I have to find another way to get in there. New changeups are here for the Brooklyn Nets and for the Minnesota Wolves. Right now, Reed is checked out and Edwards decided to give it to Anderson with the with a new changeup. Bridges scoop drawn. What a men's performance run. Conley up at the board in the middle. He's off to McDaniels. Back to Conley, rolls over to Anderson. Trying to put a man on it. Step back for the two. That goes in and out, another miss by Minnesota. Bridges up with now. He goes up, blocked away by Gobert. They still have a lot of team to get over and free for Johnson, out of range. What a play, another one for Rudy Gobert. Are you kidding me? He was always a great player in the defense. Definitely gonna believe him. Gobert foul, and off the shot it goes. Nicholas Clarkson receives his foul. That's his second team foul, second team foul, and a second personal foul. For Brooklyn, they're in a struggle in the face down. They could be going for a New York showdown in between. Hopefully. Well, they lose again then they're definitely going to be back in the range out there. They may not be. Only the five on four, hopefully, but I don't, I don't think so. Go Bear, it's the first free throw. Now, as we were talking about this one here, there's a couple players that will be playing here as we will make a new schedule out of it here starting on April. By the mid. Miami will be playing against the Atlanta Hawks, battling for the seventh seed. And so Minnesota Wolves will be playing against Dallas Mavericks for the second one, back with the, with the team encouragement here in the Western Conference playing tournaments. Following along will be the 9 and 10 teams will, that will be playing here 
after the seven seed is over for the next day. And then the, the team that loses the game in the battle seven seed will have to play again for the last chance to get into the eighth seed. Edwards and the team are still working on their run. They could be going into the play-in tournaments also. Might need to find another way to try to stop the run. They gotta do something here. Make it quick, make it easy. It's not hard for them to try to keep them over it by the line. Edwards for three. Good! He made that in there! And Pauly with the assist! Edwards got 19. Almost up with 20. They're off to a big move here. What a guy! Benny Smith, bridges outside. Benny Smith, Johnson tries again from the other side. And there's the bucket. Johnson has finally makes a free. And they're coming back down here with just only 2.35 to go. Conley finds a way to look for the open courage. McDaniels, back pass to Edwards. Edwards trying to scuffle around. Gives it back to McDaniels. Decides to think about it. Gobert up and now. And scoop the draw for Gobert. He's got nine points. They're on to a great start. There might be another way to get right through it. And two minutes to play in the third final quarter of the game. And Gobert has it now with only nine rebounds. Conley up to Conley. Back to Edwards. Going for it again. Oh, he's too good. Anthony Edwards has got 21 right now. And he went 17 minutes on the court. He's a good guy. What a guy. Three-pointer off the mark. That's 10 rebounds for Gobert. 21 for Edwards. And we're nearing 90 seconds right now in the fourth quarter. Edwards takes his time. Up and over to Anderson. Want to give it to Gobert, again, and no problem. Rudy Gobert receiving 11 points. Houston Witte, up over to Penny Smith, back to Bridges. Shoots and fades, stepping in with the two. That holds up with another rebound for Gobert. He has 11, and their team is legitimating into the postseason. They're on to a great sight. Really well done for their team. And Nets are also into the postseason as well. They made it that time. They definitely, definitely really want to get back into it. McDaniels for three. Oh, wow! There are some pointers that they cannot forget about. McDaniels has 10. And their extension run has been showing off their limits. Vinny Smith, no good. 30 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. McDaniels passes over to Edwards. Edwards scoots back. Let the clock wind down. It's coming down to just 15 seconds. And their team will stop here. And that will end their possession at the top. Last change up for the Nets and Minnesota Wolves as there's the last group change up in between. All five players checked out, all five players checked in. And with the Soda Wolves, four players checked out, four players checked in. Sumner with the ball. Now we'll end the game. Your final score, Minnesota Wolves 62 and Brooklyn 29. This has to be a tremendous game. Well done for Gobert, well done for Edwards, and well done for McDaniels. Time to close it off to David Aldridge on the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Rudy, your impact on the game defensively, always something to watch. What's your approach at that end? Just how the game is. Oh, David, thank you very much. 
With me and Fan, this has been your presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. A tremendous regular season, and what a game for the Wolves. Thanks for watching, and let's go to the postseason of Son of Beast and Miko. Guys, all yours. Good night in Minnesota. OJ, thank you very much. And with this one, the final game has already been closed. Yeah, we're very sad that this one has already been turning out to be the end of a regular season for the run. And we definitely really enjoyed how the team has definitely played. They're very well on a tough range out there. I know they do. The tough ones out there, there's a couple players of the teams that are heading into the postseason after the playing tournaments complete. Then we'll catch you on to the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. And if you're catching it for the real game, make sure you stick around as we got some a lot of teams that are going to try to put the answer back and battle out to the home of the Eastern and Western Conference Finals before the NBA Finals. That will be the legit. You'll be ready for it up in no time. I bet so. I'm ready for this. Are you pumped up? <laughs> Me too. Me too. Definitely pumped up for the most and ever game of success. Here are how they did here in the total games with the combination for the summary look. The key team comparisons, we have a lot of field goals percentage for the Wolves and the three pointers. Then across to the other hand of the side of Brooklyn, they've got free throws and fast break points. Only six were involved. 20 points in the paint and second chance points was 26 and 8 for Minnesota. Bench points was only the Brooklyn. Assists goes to 21 by Minnesota, then it's 9 for offensive rebounds for Brooklyn and defensive rebounds for 24 of Minnesota. There's only a couple steals that they have made an even score. Range, not a successful one, but they're going to need to try to figure that one out a bit. And only 5 blocks remain for Minnesota. Nothing, nothing for Brooklyn Nets. They just couldn't believe it how they did that. I just served. They could do this one most of the time. Turnovers was only three for the lead for most of the points off. And only three fouls on either teams. Four dunks were involved for Brooklyn to get over it, the height limit. Biggest lead was 33 and time of possession 13-31. Now it's time to close this off for the last regular season of the three star players of the game. Let's go on to see what we got. Number three. This one really has to catch things on here right to the approach I really would like to give it all they've got. Not really too much out there, literally. But there might be one that could be going out there for anybody else. All three for Timber Wolves. And there might be a tough ones to stop in for the other guys. Here's how they did. Third star goes to Jaden McDaniels. 10 points, 5 rebounds, and assists. He made a great effort with two free pointers and only had gotten field goals ranged by 4 and 7. Performance was 12. He's on a comfortable guns to get right through him here. They do. He's really well in this game. Pretty played hard. Might be ready for the postseason to get in. Let's have your take on number 2, Mifon. Well, number two, this one goes to Rudy Gobert, the defenseman player of the game. He got three blocks. Try to get out of here. One, then another one on the other hand. Two, and the third really has to go with something big. I'll tell you this one, it's this. Bang on Simmons. And he has 11 points, 12 rebounds, and two assists. Really well done with the steal. And he only had played here for just only 18 minutes on the court. Performance was 15. Now let's have your take here for number one. Well, number one, I will say that most players are turning out to be exotic run, but the New Balance player of the game all has to reside on is this. Anthony Edwards. He's going right at the moment. Nine field goal percentage out of 13. Three pointers, then four, really had trying to give him off to a constant speed. 24 performance run, 21 points, three rebounds, and assists. Well guy performed. He's very tough. Clarifying 
how he is up to an epic finish. At 18 minutes on the court was the last one to head to court on the game. Well, as for being said, the regular season is officially done for 2022-23. But not this time because we've got postseason coming up. So if you'd like to stick around here, want to catch your eyes on that one, stay tuned because there will be tons of players and the teams getting ready to saddle up for the postseason of the play-in tournaments. And stay tuned as we got the Stanley Cup playoffs on NHL on EA Sports. They'll be up there in just a moment to get right into the game. As a moment being said, I hope you enjoyed the final game of the regular season of the Nets and the Wolves. We'll catch you around here as it might be somewhere else to go right in between the boards with, uh, with an ultimate event. So with that one, me and me phone are finished for the regular season of the game. And I'd like to thank you all for watching for this part of the game. If you haven't catched on anything yet, head down to my playlist section and check it out. You got tons of boards and there is a lot to think to share about it. The best memories of NBA 2K23. So we'll have to figure it out one out. Which one is the best? Why well, say two? With that being said, thanks for tuning in for the final of the game. Peace out everyone for a while as the NBA are on 2K Sport Dial for the completion of the regular season. And stay tuned, we have a lot of things to tell about Inanimate Insanity turning 12 years old. So keep your eyes on the new trailer of number 13 if you would like to go check that place out. Well... I guess it's, it's my time. My show is turning very big. I absolutely can't believe that it's going quick. It is, honestly, a tough one to go for. And if you're joining March, March Madness, don't worry. Your team will definitely do really well if you have your, made your bracket selection correct. Or if you have it wrong, well, you're out of here. I hope you make a perfect, uh, perfect prediction of your brackets to get that one right. Hopefully you do. Mines is nothing but to take over it. So thank is it. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my social medias. And if there's any recommendations, leave a comment down below. You'll never know. Your video might be the next one to be determined in between by the dailies of the routine. So make sure to tune in. Please subscribe, like the video, and definitely, of course, keep it posted for you guys to keep up to date by clicking the notification button. So with that, subscribe now. If you don't, somebody will. See you all in the postseason of Season 7 of NBA 2K Sports. Son of Beast, gone. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.